Hello, my name is Stanislav Deslenko and today I'm gonna show you how to create this nice peel and paint effect inside a Substance Painter. So for beginning I just clean up my project a bit and clean up this mask as well. So what we have? Uh, we uh, have this uh, paint folder uh, that uh, contains um, the layers that uh, actually form our paint um, material uh, and we have a red paint folder which contains our paint folder and uh, bronze armor material underneath so uh, to begin uh, the process of adding this a nice peel and paint effect we go to the white mask of the paint uh, add uh, paint for now at anchor point uh, one important uh, note that uh, anchor point must be always on the top of all effects uh, that uh, you are going to adjust your paint mask so uh, then we just add a layer which will contain only a height channel and we layer around 12 to him add a black mask and add fill in fill we will select our anchor point of the paint folder for now this is uh, it for setup uh, then just for demonstration purposes i will use um, the texture of the stencil and just give some peeling going on this ball yeah i think that will be enough for now just disable it and um, we have uh, this peeling going on, but um, we need uh, to uh, achieve the effect when uh, we have more height uh, on the edges of the peels uh, and uh, less height in the center of them. We go uh, to the height layer, add filter. In the filters, we will select high pass and uh, when we switch uh, to the mask it's uh, alt left click mm, we will see that high pass uh, give us mm, this effect this uh, highlight edges of our mask so we add uh, levels and move dark tones slightly to the center just to give it more contrast and get, uh, get rid of uh, this weird gradient that we don't need. Uh, if we will return to our material it already looks uh, like a, a nice peeling chunks. Mm it's basically uh, the core idea of uh, this whole process you can use any generators or any effects uh, you want uh, to manipulate manipulate your mask but the main core idea that uh, this uh, folder which is contains paint material uh, all the effects uh, that uh, given this uh, paint peeling effect will be driven from the mask so uh, to make more pleasant result we will add another layer uh, that will be our uh, occlusion uh, for uh, this uh, paint peels uh, make it slightly darker and reduce the roughness at black mask at fill and select our anchor point but in this case uh, to make uh, our uh, occlusion uh, located um, under our um, peel and paint we need uh, to inverse our mask we can do in by the 
switching the sides of the uh, bottom anchors so we have this effect and pretty much the same process we will add filter at high pass mm, add levels and adjust it a little bit and voila we have an occlusion in the spots we want to just little bit tweaks in the levels and uh, reduce uh, the opacity of the fill to get slightly occlusion effect I think that will be enough for now and to make more realistic result we can add another layer that will be uh, our uh, just to uh, lighten up a bit uh, the edges of the peeling paint add black mask add fill select our anchor point add uh, filter high pass our levels and move our levels just to locate um, our edges of the paint and we will give it slightly orangey a look to this and reduce it and I think that's enough so basically yeah, I described the whole approach uh, to make uh, this peel and paint effect mm -hmm. yeah. and if you want to uh, adjust uh, this effect it uh, must be all done in this mask under the anchor point you can add generators as well so it uh, will all work and in non-destructible matter you can add another paint and just uh, paint uh, some shapes by hand if uh, your uh, computer have a hard times uh, to uh, process uh, this on a flow you can temporarily disable effects and it will be more smoothing uh, more smooth going process than disable it again so uh, I hope uh, this tutorial was uh, helpful for you have a good luck